The car that we're running for this year's Formula One Championship in 2014 is MP429. We have a substantially more complex set of uh, hybrid technologies on the car and all new aerodynamics driven largely by substantial regulation change. When you look at the car, the most striking external differences are to the, the bodywork, the front of the car, the noses on all the cars look very different. This is driven by an FIA regulation to drive the front of the car down and prevent cars from lifting over one another when they make contact. So that has an impact on the nose, the front wing structures and then subsequently the airflow down the car. By far and away the greatest changes are under the, under the bodywork. Still powered by a Mercedes engine but a V6 technology rather than a V8 technology. And we have motor generator units for recovering brake energy and heat energy to drive the turbine. So the systems, heat management, software management and, and powertrain systems as a whole are fundamentally different under the car. That's backed up by an all-new gearbox because we're running uh, eight uh, forward gears this year as it was seven last year. We also uh, have the ability to recover kinetic energy from the brakes and we're able to harvest energy from the turbocharger and the ERS or the energy recovery system that does a number of things. So it's extra power when the driver needs it, gets on the throttle. It also fills in some of the uh, torque holes that inevitably you get in, in a, a normal engine and particularly with a turbocharger where there's sometimes a little bit of turbo lag. So there are a number of innovations on the car. Perhaps the most obvious aspects of our car that looks different at the moment to everybody else's is our treatment uh, of the rear suspension. There's been a lot of speculation about it. We wouldn't have put it on the car if we didn't think it was useful to us. It's, it's interesting and I'm glad that we've been able to push, uh, push the envelope on a few things. But at the end of the day, to finish first you still have to finish so for us we have to make sure that the car is incredibly reliable but if we play too safe and we fall behind that development curve then the car is going to be uh, too slow. When you approach a step change in the regulations which does happen every four or five years uh, in Formula One there are no evolutionary concepts that you can carry over it's just not an option for you. In Formula One the moment that you've just built a new car which will be 11, 12,000 parts all of which are new this year. The rate of development and the rate of learning is just so huge. With the regulations that are coming in now, I think we will see all of the thrills, the spills, of people trying to get on top of this technology, which is difficult. So not everybody's going to be successful at that. And I think we're in for a really exciting first half of the season. And I think it's relevant, but it has to be the extreme show.